Hey, what's happening, everybody? This is Jamie Mash here, and yet again, I'm joined with Shane. Say what's up, man. How's it going, guys? And uh, once again, it's another Yu-Gi-Oh! tutorial. We're basically going to teach you some stuff. So in the last video, we went over very, very basic Yu-Gi-Oh! terminology. You know, attack, defense, spells, traps, monsters, and tributing. Uh, in this video, we're going to go over some more complicated stuff as I get spam messaged by people. So, firstly, before we go into the duel, uh, me and Shane, we're go well, I'm going to go over the ban list very quickly. Um, and the limited cards and stuff. So, as you can see here with this deck, uh, some of the cards have a number at the top. It says 1 or it says two. Basically, that means you can only use one of these cards in your deck, or only two of these cards in the deck. And that's because there's a uh, thing called a ban list, where certain cards are limited, or you can only use so many, or some cards you can't use at all, and that's in a competitive event. So if you play a friendly game with a friend, I'm sure if you, you know, he wouldn't care if you use banned cards or not. Uh, let me just find a banned card so I can show you. Change of heart. Yatagarasu. Yeah, a Garassi. Yeah, so it's a Garassi. This yeah, card's banned. You, you can't use it. It has a, a thing at the top left that says, Nope, you're not using it. So anyway, that's the ban list. And it's something that me and Shane used to follow when we played in big events. Yeah. So let me... Uh, I've hosted a door now, Shane. Password's Yammy Mash. Yeah, I'm that. There we go. There we are. So, uh, well, shall I start? Go on, I'm paper. All right. So in this video, do you want to tell them what we're going to go over in this video? Yeah, I want to go over special summoning. I want to go over synchros and exceeds, uh, the banish uh, remove from play zone, and I, th I think we should just uh, play a little bit uh, after we've done that a little and uh, yeah. just, just just talk them through a little, you know, why we do things, blah, blah, blah. So uh, do you want to start on... Yep. Uh, is it special summoning first? I think special summoning is a good one. Okay. If you've got nothing that can special summon, just go through your deck. Grab All something. right, let me grab something. Okay, something to special summon. And uh, it's quite special, special summoning, you know? Yep. Yeah, it's very special. Right, I'll grab this. Oh, wait, I have all the Kribblons in my hand, I think. Right. <laughs> just put oh, no, I think I've got a Psychic Commander on my deck. Let me look. Just put it in here. Uh, That's what it's called. I was asking you before. What, um... what Psychic Commander? Yeah, what was the other thing wait. with the emergency teleport? Where is that? I thought I had a Psychic Commander. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right, special summoning then. Let me uh, go over it. So we talked about uh, how you can only summon one monster per turn in obviously attack or defense. And then there was tribute summoning where if a monster had more than four stars, you had to tribute monsters. Special summoning is a little different. Uh, there's going to be certain things like spell cards or the effects of uh, monsters, which are the orange cards, which will allow you to summon a monster outside of the rules of only summoning once per turn. So for example, this card. Emergency teleport. Emergency teleport. It says special summon one level three or lower psychic monster from your hand or deck and then during the end phase remove from play that monster so um i'm going to just grab myself mr psychic commander uh, where are you psychic commander um actually i'm gonna be making a synchro summon uh three stars yeah i'll get psychic commander yeah because uh, we'll, we'll go over synchro summons as well so i can do this yeah, we'll now do it. actually okay uh so he's used uh, emergency teleport he has not used his one normal summon or set for the turn so you can yeah. still do all that stuff. Uh, special summons are just, you know, just special. They're, they're not normal. They're special. They're good. They're special, and they yep. are especially good. All right. Now, <laughs> go over tuners. All right. So uh, now this is where, this is being quite new stuff. This is stuff that we didn't used to do back in the day, me and Shane. Yeah, this, this, this is kind of almost at the end of our scope. Yeah. Basically, synchro summoning is... Um, Okay, this card here, Psychic Commander, is a tuner. As you can see, but next to its type, it says Psychic slash Tuner. And a tuner um, can make itself into a... Uh, what are they called, Shane? Synchro. Synchro. Okay, and if you if, it, if I go over this, the uh, Synchro cards, they're white cards, at the bottom it says um, one tuner plus one or more non-tuner monster. So, for example, Pyramid Turtles are non-tuner, Psychic Commander's a, Commander's a tuner. And what you do is you add their star levels together. So three plus four is seven. I know my math, Shane. Oh, I'm sure you do, dude. So I can now get out a seven-star tuner and... Uh, synchro. Synchro. Seven-star <laughs> synchro. Don't worry, I do it all the time. I know. So um, what happens is I send these to the graveyards. Synchro summon, special summon, a big old beast called... And these are very country. powerful cards. They are very good cards. Um, so now I'm going to kill itself because I'm a nuke, lol. Yeah, Black Rose <laughs> Dragon, uh, he's just a nuke. He nukes the entire really field, that. kills himself, kills everything else. It's a very good card. Um, so that's a Synchro Summon. Uh, what else was we meant to go over? 
Uh, exceeds. Exceeds, eh? I'll do this one. All right, you do an exceed. Okay. Um. What we got here? Okay. Let's just pretend I had that on the field before. Okay. Okay. We have two two star monsters here. Yeah. In my uh. Extra deck that are these black monsters. These are very new within the past couple of years. These are super new. Um, for us, we're we're like decade old. Um, these guys are actually put over the top of the monsters they were used for. So you need two, uh, two level two monsters here, according to this guy. If you can hover over Maron. Uh, yep, it says two level two monsters, and so, it's eighteen hundred defense, which is pretty yep. good. So what you do is you put it over the top of them, and they become uh, almost like costs for it. It's like it's got two little bits on it, and its effect is you can detach one exceed material from this card instead of it dying. So it's it a has wall, like three a lives. wall of destruction. It's very good. It's very cool. Um, it's a great that's, card. That's pretty much uh, ex exceeds. Um, Alright, so shall I go into the remove from play thing? I don't know what I'm doing there. I'm trying to just get these out. Yeah. And yeah, you can just go into a remove from play. Alright, well, they call it banishing now, which is... Yeah, thing. they've changed the terminology on it to banish, but it's exactly the same thing. Yeah. So I'll put that back in my extra. I'm going to have to uh, swap a few cards around real quick. Yep, that's fine. Alright. How's, no, how's about you attack? Okay. His Black Rose Dragon has decided it would like to attack me. It's not my turn yet, dude. <laughs> oh. Okay, have a go. <laughs> I am going to attack you! Directly! Oh no! But you've at you've activated my trap card. Oh no! Dimensional Prison. When an opponent declares an attack, target that monster. Banish that target. Banish Banish! Me. Oh no! Instead of going to the graveyard, it goes to um, a place just above the graveyard, which is the Banish Zone. And generally, you're... Spell cards won't touch out of play. It'll usually touch your graveyard. So it kind of just means they're, they've gone a bit further than you can reach. It's it's worse than going to the graveyard. It's like the graveyard's when you die, but banishing you get sucked in a black hole. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, holy moly, I'm never getting out of that one. So yeah. it's a bit of a pickle, really. Uh, so banishing is basically better than being in the graveyard, usually. Because it's harder to get them back. Yeah. Well, for you, if you've done it. All yeah. right, I think we should just uh, maybe play a few turns. And... Yeah, we'll play a couple turns. Yeah, um, so I'll... It's my turn. And I'll, I'll yeah. set a monster in face down defense, so you can't see it. And I'll set a, a spell or a trap card, depending on whether or not you think it's a bluff. <laughs> back in tournaments, we'd call that a T set, because it That's resembles a T. That's a T set, it looks like a T. Yeah. All right, this is why T set sucks. Because <laughs> of MS2. MST. Yeah. So Mystical Space Typhoon, destroy a spell or trap. And yeah, just destroy my bottomless trap hole. Uh, wow. Wow. <laughs> How much defense did a princess magician have? <laughs> <laughs> this sucks. Uh, or something. Uh, okay, here comes Zombie Master. Uh, hello. I'm a turtle in attack mode. All right. So Zombie Master's effect is he can discard a monster to special summon a zombie from his grave. Pyramid Turtle says zombie yeah. in its in its. Uh, next to effect, so that means it's a zombie. So he's decided to attack with Zombie Master. So basically, because of the special summon, I managed to get out two monsters rather than one because of the effect of Zombie Master. Yeah. So I'm going to flip this card up. This is Old Vindictive Magician. Its effect says flip, so it means when it's flipped up, yep. it's activates. Uh, target one monster your opponent controls, destroy that target. I'm going to uh, choose Zombie Master. Okay. And then, uh, and then I can get an attack directly off. Because it took damage from the zombie master and then I take 1200 directly to my life points and um uh, main phase two I'll uh actually I'll just end my turn here okie dokie um I'm gonna do another T set and then I'm gonna end my turn another T set eh? yep and then I'm gonna do another take... MST <laughs> asshole <laughs> just gets, gets through my my spells and traps it is a quite a fun little uh, situation right here Oh, Let's yeah. go for another synchro. Okie dokie. Uh, Krebons is the tuner, and yeah. Pyramid Tickler is the non-tuner. They have, uh, they add up to six stars. All right. Um, so. 
Uh, mm. Brionic's effect is you can discard any number of cards to the graveyard to target yeah. the same number of cards on the field return them to the hand. So you can just bounce my card to my hand. Do you want to? All right, yeah. to my hand. Moink. Okay. 2300. And then it's my turn. So Synchro's a pretty beast, to be honest. Um, I'm going to activate Heavy Storm, which destroys all Spell and Trap cards oh. on the field. Yep. Um, so it destroys your Solemn Warning. Now, Heavy Storm's been banned a fair few times because it's just so good. Uh, we need to unban Harpy's Feather Duster and ban Heavy <laughs> Storm, I think. Uh, I'm going to play Monster Reborn. Yep. And special summon your... Yep. Uh, zombie Master. And I'm going to discard. Oh no! Because Zombie Master. Oh no! Something from your grave and mine. I know. So I'm going to take your Pyramid Turtle. Oh no! And then I'm going to send Pyramid Turtle to the graveyard to tribute summon. Oh no! To Borg the Thunder Oh no! Destroy a monster on the field. I'm going to destroy Brionic and I'm going to attack directly. Oh baby, what a move! You discarded Dark Hole! <laughs> oh shit! He's got so he's. Uh, gone. It has the attack and defense of the Zabor, right? Oops! I didn't mean to send that to the grave. Does it have the attack and defense of the Zabor, the token? Uh, no, because you took 18. Wait, I mean the token. Yeah, it takes. it. Read the the effect of God. Yeah, thing. I took the attack from the Zabor. No, I mean the Zombie Master, and then. Yes, yeah, so it's, it's, the it's, it's got 20. It's got 18 then. Oh, really? The damage you took. Oh, I see. Oh, so I should have took the damage from the Zabor, really. Maybe, maybe you should explain this, Aaron. Yeah. Gore's the uh, Emissary of Darkness. Is when you have no cards on the field and it's in your hand, you can special summon it when you take when you get attacked or something? When you take battle damage. When I take battle damage. Pretty much. Alright, well, I'm taking the 24th from the Zabor now. Okay. Okay, so this uh, Gore's has... Um, one second. I've never used Gore's before. Really? No, I, I it, it was after my time. Yeah, I guess it was. I'm going to set a card and end my turn. So the token has 2400 attack, you just kind of have to... That's what I drink. I'm going to activate my enemy controller in response. Oh, I know what you're going to do. Oh. You're taking control of my Zavog, I mean uh, my thingy. I'm going to send Zombie Master to the grave, take control of Gore's oh, emissary... Oh no! Damn you! Because enemy controller's effect is tribute one monster. So the token's fight. got 24 now, right? Yes, it does. Alright, I'll run with Zaborg. Okay, okay. Uh, remove. And then I am a 10. Alright, he gets this back, and it's not a good spot for me to Shane's be in. Shane's in a terrible position right here. Ice summon Krebon. Oh, bollocks! Good effect. When this card is tagged for an attack, pay 800 and negate the attack. Now that's just not even fair. What do I even have in my deck? Foolish Burial, Mizuki. Foolish Burial. Mizuki, dude. It is Mizuki, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, to Grave. Mizuki. He's, a, he's quite a special card. Very good card. He's a very good card, actually. I think he should, think he should be at three, as far as the ban list goes. Um, so I remove... Uh, banish Mizuki. And yeah, I can special, special summon someone. a zombie. Yeah. Alright, uh, I'm going to attempt to ram into your Krebons. I'm going to negate the attack. I'll attack it with uh, Thingy. I'll pay 800 to negate that attack. Please don't draw another Zaborg. Um. Hmm. Tribute. Case. Oh no! No! It's the effect when he's no! tributed. I can remove from play a monster. And then. I take then, a thousand life points. That's some damage because it's a dark monster. Uh, Monarchs are very, very good. They are very good. Um. What do I want to do? I'm going to end turn. Oh, really? It's probably the best. It's the best move. It's the best. It's mm, the best. Interesting. Yeah, what did yeah. you draw? What did you draw? What did you draw? What did you draw? No, no, no. You draw? What do I have in my deck? How mm, could it be? I forgot what's in my deck, Shane. Uh, I hope I put a Rio Koki in there. Of course you put a Rio Koki. I hope you put a Rio Koki in there. Let me there. look. That's why I didn't attack. I don't even have a Rio Koki, dude. Really? No. Oh my god, no Ryu Koki in a zombie deck. God damn it! What are you thinking? <laughs> yeah. oh, I can't. End, end my turn. Uh, I drew a good card. I would attack his his Pyramid Turtle, but you can get a zombie from his deck. And I'm very, very worried about what that zombie would be. It would be a very sexy zombie. I think it would be something like Zombie Master, and he could just do some dirty combos with it. 
It'll be all like nom nom nom. -ish. And I'd, I'd rather <laughs> wait until I can get through it with a like a wow, monster. Wow, some shit synchros in my thingy. All right, I'm just gonna get freaking Zaborg. No key, no key. No, that's not going through. No. no I don't mention a prison, so you attack. It goes out of play. Yeah. Chaos. Tribute Chaos for Chaos, that you can do that, and then I'm going to target his Pyramid yeah. Turtle. And now I take 24. And then I'll attack for 2400. Yeah. And then I'll end my turn. He's on the ropes. Hope I am on the ropes right now. Things could not get much better, I mean worse. Dude, we've got three watches. <laughs> We got Have we got people watching? Are you serious? Watches, Why are people watching? They must do they must be enjoying the tense oh, close no. door. Um let me just think real quick. And you win. I win. You Excellent. win. Wait, you got no monsters. I had an ill blood and a book of life, but I couldn't get past the thingy majiggy. You wanna kill me, I don't think, but I just gave up. Ill blood. You'd put, master, yeah. Special summer defense. I would have been down to 100 life points, but I just gave you the win. Mm. Mm. Okay. I think that pretty much went well. Yeah. Um, sure. Did we go over everything? Yeah. Really did. Alright, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. What are we going to go over in the advanced one? Uh, spell speeds chaining. Um, damage step, which I hate. Spell speed chaining, damage step. Yeah, sounds about right. Yeah. Um, that's about it, really. Yeah. All right. Oh, we didn't talk about fusions, did we? Nobody uses uh, fusions no anymore. Fusions. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Polymerization. Lol. Oh, Cursed oh, Dragon Guy of the Fierce Knight. Guy of the Dragon Champion. Oh man, I remember when I got my Final Fantasy VII on you for like. Oh, I guy remember that. Champion. What was I thinking? <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, the intermediate tutorial, and we'll see you in the more advanced one. All right, guys. I'll see you later. All right. Goodbye, guys.